Well, we got this exciting box of goodies today. This is some top shelf packaging for batteries. And yes, I already asked if Milwaukee was going to sell the batteries in this pack out, and that was a hard no. If you watch our latest pipeline video, you'll of course see a big focus on the Forge batteries. If you haven't seen it, you're probably living under a rock. Just kidding, but we did cover the whole thing in a 20 minute video with the link below. For the new Forge, Red Lithium Forge uh, 4811 1861, this is what Milwaukee is claiming. Six amp hours, power level of PWR4, M18 platform obviously, and then the supercharger will charge it in 25 minutes, the standard charger 110 minutes, and then all of the Forge batteries are oil resistant. So these Forge boys are using the Pout Cell tech that you can find on the Flex and DeWalt batteries, but the real question on all of our minds is how will these batteries affect the mass collection of tools we already have? Will you see immediate bump in performance versus the high output batteries, or will you need to wait for the next generations of tools to fully take advantage of the potential of the forge. So what's the what's the answer, Jay? We took the latest 6 amp hour forge that we have here and two other batteries that we already know, the M18 XC 8 amp hour battery, the 4811-1880, and the M18 XC 5.0 battery, the 4811-1850, and pit them against each other, a couple of high demand tools, including the half inch impact uh, 286320 and the inch and three quarter SDS Max rotary hammer, the 27-1820. First, using the impact, with all three batteries on our in-house skid mower to see a uh, comparison of each battery and if they could actually produce more torque. Then we'll run the rotary hammer outside to see if we can actually drill holes faster. Pretty simple and most importantly easy to show to you. And no, he's not applying any extra pressure to make any specific battery look better or worse than the other. This testing is as honest as we can make it. Also one note that is sometimes confusing with amp hours. For the most part this tells you the run time. A one amp hour draw item like a light will run that many hours. So it doesn't matter 6.0 standard, 6.0 high demand, 6.0 forge will all run a lighter radio, something like that, the exact same amount of time. Now for high demand tools, a more advanced battery may be better to control heat for application, so it could do a little bit better on runtime. It might also deliver a boost in performance and the tool pulls more power, so it might draw faster. Bottom line, amp hours is a pretty good guide on runtime. With what Milwaukee has always left out is kind of that peak watt output on the batteries as well as a similar stat for the tools. What I'm happy to see for a few reasons with this New battery is also a, a new power chart. So on the packaging of the Forge batteries, you're gonna see PWR4, so power four. This is gonna be a ranking system one through five. Our guess is the standard compact might be a one, 5.0, a two, uh, high output six and eight hours would be like a three. And then they're already saying the Forge and the Forge 6.0 and then the high output 12.0 will be fours. And then finally, they already do say the power Five level, which they show, and we're assuming that's the new 120 Forge that we'll be launching next year. This will definitely make pairing tools and batteries better, assuming Milwaukee also provides some guidance for the tools. So with our testing, we like we mentioned earlier, we had the three different batteries and we used the, uh, the Impact and the SDS Hammer. The half inch Impact 2863 with the 5.0 battery gave us a 42,500 volt tension rating. We jump over to the 8.0, which gave us a 15% increase at 48,500. And then with the new Forge 6.0, we had a whopping 56,000 with another 15% increase so you got a total of 30 percent increase yeah. to the 5.0 that's really impressive yeah it was really good so then i jumped on the inch and three quarter sds max hammer drill 5.0 uh took 25 seconds uh it, it definitely felt underpowered the 8.0 significantly you know improved performance uh it was 17 seconds and then the forge was 16 seconds so i actually thought we would see a bigger improvement with the sds max because this actually mm -hmm. comes with a 12 -0 battery so like it's really meant for that but i honestly I couldn't really tell the difference between the 8.0 and the 6.0 when I was going yeah. through. Uh, it does seem like you're gonna get more power with the Forge battery, um, but is it a huge increase over that high output? What I think the, the real kind of sweet spot for these is like, a grinder. So high demand tool where you that weight really, you know, you don't want to put a 12 volt battery on the back of a little grinder. Okay, so now we got to talk about this charger, this giant jet engine of a charger. <laughs> so this is backward compatible, obviously, but what kind of features like I see a lot of different trademarks and logos plastered all over this thing. Yeah, so this is the new supercharger They actually will replace uh, the existing supercharger. The big thing here is charge adapt. What is this charge adapt? Milwaukee explains it as adaptive charge distribution design that shifts power between the bays depending on the pack state of charge to simultaneously charge 
charge both batteries. The benefiting result is the packs will simultaneously charge, charging them faster and maximizing user productivity. Oh, well, that was a pretty official answer. So, I mean, you're pretty much just getting the rapid charger benefit on two batteries at once. But you mentioned that the charge adapt feature doesn't work for every Milwaukee battery. Again, the supercharger itself provides overall benefit for the entire M18 platform, but yeah, charge adapt uh, will get you six times charge speed on the forge and four times charge speed on the high output batteries. It, it pulls about 450 watts, I recommend five. 100 watts of power. And if you're needing to use multiple chargers, Milwaukee's saying that you can use up to three chargers on a 15 amp plug and up to four chargers on a 20 amp plug, both at 120 volts. There's also a cool cycle feature uh, in this that helps with overload. So there isn't much information on this yet, but it actively cooling system that delivers high speed cooling to cool cycle capable packs. Is that why this thing is so freaking loud? And you know, how do you know what batteries are ever cool cycle compatible? Uh, no idea. I would assume a fan would help cool all the batteries. Uh, Milwaukee releasing more information on this one as we get closer to 2024. Throw your comments in the bottom if you have any questions and we'll get it answered for you. And thank you for sticking around this long. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work.